Welcome back to some more Power World. Yeah, boy, the sun is setting, which is a perfect opportunity for us to head out and find us a brand new pal. This guy, apparently we've seen somewhere, obviously when we we're on our travels, but looks like a flyer. Looks like a dark fire type flyer, which obviously is going to work for us perfectly. It looks sick. Habitat nighttime up here so we're gonna head out we're gonna see if we can capture one of them maybe if we can ride it get ourselves a brand new flyer this thing looks absolutely insane i want that so bad and then once we've done that we're actually gonna go and explore this area up here this is the desert um not sure if we're quite ready for it yet but i believe that's where we find the catrus hat for like ourselves and i really want that i'm i'm, I'm bored of the bunny ears now i want something that's gonna be me which is the catcher's hat so yeah um i had a look and apparently it's in the desert there's a small town somewhere we buy it off a dude so um i've got monies and i'm ready for the desert probably when it's morning time so other things i've been up to we've been breeding a little bit more because i now have a shille which if we look at wriggling weasel um level three so i've obviously mushed up some shillies to make that i've also put some souls into it to get to level two and then in terms of passive skills, we've got Brave, Aggressive, and Ferocious. So obviously that puts uh, 10, 20, 40% more attack than normal. We lose a little bit of defense, but I think we'll be fine. Because it's got okay defense as it is. But yeah, we've already got 100 uh, attack points more. We're only level 16. But this is going to be our boss fighter. Um, I've just got to get some more ice attacks for it. But this is what we're going to be doing to take on that electric dragon boss. Uh, maybe next episode if we get it to a decent level. Um, I'm going to try it with just one ice creature. And then we'll just kind of see how everyone else fares against it. Obviously, we've got teeth and the absolute god. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we fare against the boss. So, what time is it now? Uh, it is almost night time. I've got some pal spheres. We've got a gun and stuff. So, let's go... Um, where did it say we've got to go again? How Dex. Click on to you. Habitat. Night time. Okay, so it's just up and around here. Alright, let's wait till it's actually night time. And then we'll go over there. So I guess before we do anything, then we're going to hatch this egg. And this is going to be a really, really rare egg, right? And nice. One of them. Let's chuck in a common egg, because why the hell not? Perfect. All right. Well, before we go any further, if you do enjoy the Power World content, make sure you are whacking a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribing, ringing the bell, all that good stuff. If you've not done that already, I do appreciate all the support on Power World. I really, really do. I love this game. I want to play this forever. I can't wait for all the future updates, new pals, new mechanics, PvP, boss raids. Oh, man, it's going to be so sick. So, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, if you do want to support the channel that little bit more, you can become a channel member or a patron. You get an exclusive video every single Friday. Uh, and it's just for you. You can watch them all. You can binge watch all 20 plus. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much. All right, let's go. Let's see. What we can find here then. So I'm going to guess it's going to be in the sky. It's going to be glowing. Oh, there's a green tail. Hello. Um, okay. Right. Let's let's see what yeah. we can find here. So it's it's just everywhere. Um, Raider camp. Sick. Okay. So it said like just all in around here, right? Um, hmm. I, I don't want to like miss it. Nighttime's pretty fast on here. It's not. It's like faster than default. It's not crazy fast. It's also a little uh, effigy up there. Like, are they going to be all down and around here? Yeah, definitely will be. Okay. Look for shiny stuff in the sky. Moonless shore. How you know? I'm just going to jump all the way down. Here. There we are. That's what we're looking for, boys. Hello. Can um, can you and me be friends? All right. Look at that. Half health already. Are you even going to come down and do anything here? Oh, yeah. Also, what I just realized, well, I realized the other day, you don't want to go and throw a Pokeball. I'll see if I can show in a minute. There we go. We got one. It was that easy. Um, can be ridden as a flying mount. Applies dark damage to players attack while mounted. Drops medium power souls. Oh, we, we need them. Sick. It calls forth lightning from the depths of hell. One who dies from Hell Zephyr's Inferno is sure to be sent to the Underworld. It is a dark type like I thought it would be. Oh, there's a Catrus. I have been catching as many Catruses as I can. 
I do want to merge them and breed them and do that stuff. And so far, we've not really got any decent ones. But ready? Look. See my under my Pokeball thing? It's got, like, Japanese writing. <laughs> I think I was meant to say cancel in Japanese. Ow. Wasn't ready then. Cool. All right. Well, that was well quicker than I thought it was going to be. Is there any more around here? Uh, Login, Veil of Darkness. I need one with, like, some decent attack. I need a Ferocious Catrus. Heavy Grand. Uh, do we have... Oh, there's another one there. Might as, well, might as well snag this one whilst we're out. Hello, Catrus. I'm going to catch you. Good job of making... I think there's another one down to the left. Good job of making a ton of Pokeballs and ammo. Yeah. Right, this one's going to be a good one because we've got low capture rate for sure, right? 88. 99. 100. Motivational leader. I don't, I don't want a motivational leader. I want a ferocious, crazy strong one. Get your butt over here. God. Oh, by the way, this is my new gun. I forgot to say, this is the green one. Um, I crafted it up. Have a look here. There we go. 437. Uh, waterproof. I mean, there is another one of them dudes. You know what? Let's grab that. Because it might be better. Can't go wrong. Might as well start collecting them whilst we're out here. We don't really do much at night in this game. Maybe because it's really dark. But like, all me cool creatures are out of the dark. Okay, how about you get in that Pokeball, sir? I didn't say you could escape. And there we go. Uh, what we're saying? Dragon killer. Hmm. Is there any more damage to dragon type? Because we are fighting a dragon type. There's another one. Okay. I guess let's let's get a third. Maybe there's more Catrus up here. No, just a Robin Hood man. Hey you. I'm gonna catch you as well. Maybe we could get one with a swift speed or the runner speed. <gasps> That'd be kind of sick. Okay, don't kill. Somehow that hit you on the noggin! I don't think it actually did. There's another Catrus. There's two Catrus. Okay. Uh heated body we got in that one. Right. Just going on a quick catching spree before we head to the desert. Alright, catch you, and then there's one just there. Oh god. No Robin Hood. You wait a minute. Uh destructive. Okay, not what we're looking for. So yeah, night time's already over, but I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to extend it too much. It's going to be nighttime all the time. Maybe if we need to do a, a big catrice run, we will. All right. Veil of Darkness again. All right. You know what? Let's um, let's go home. Let's have a look at what we need for a saddle. For our new mount. Uh, technologies. Okay. What level do we reckon this guy's going to be? Are we going to be able to ride it yet? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We need refined ingots. Okay, we've also got some dudes outside killing a Lambo. Um, I'll take care of them. All right, you guys, get away from my base. I love that. <laughs> Just one-shotted, headshotted every single one of them. That was sick. Okay, uh, 30 refined metal. Why are we all, are we all good? Everyone got a bit angry then? So I think we need ingots and someone else. And coal. Okay, coal. Um, we could just look online to... Oh, hello. To get some coal. Uh, let's go grab some ore. Uh, how are we doing? You're starving? Is is the food ran out? Bro, everyone's just... A, oh, 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 the food has ran out. Um, All right, boys, hang on. <laughs> Uh, take that. Just grabbed a thousand berries. I swear I fed them the other day. Did I forget to? Did I not put the food in? There you go, everyone. Eat up. They'll be fine. Don't worry. This is definitely the, um, what would you call them, like, slave pals? <laughs> they don't have any fun or anything. Um, okay, let me quickly look online, see if there's a, a little spot to get some coal, because I don't think I've ever seen it. Just here, boys. This is where coal is. Um, I'll show you on the map in a hot second in case you're like, looking for it. Looks like we're going to have to fight some giant pandas. Are you going to run away? Are you going to fight? Uh, I think they're going to run away. Um, so, 
we're just here. If you fast travel to the where the fast travel near the whatever he's called, a, a grass footballing Cinderace bunny. Uh it's just there. You fly up top and this should be Yep, this is the coal. Nice. Looks like we've got a bunch of coal. Maybe some uh, ingots as well. Nice. Alright, cool. So, we need a bunch of this. Uh, we need... I think it was two per... Let's get into refined iron. So, we'll just take as much as we can carry. F to acquire. There is our saddle, boys. We can now fly with this bad boy. Hey, are you fast? Oh, you're kind of nice and speedy, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, this this this, this is our new flyer. This guy looks sick. Look at him. Let's get the hood off. Hell yeah, boys. So once again, I, I mean, we're definitely a dark type. Apart from Tiffin, who's the least dark type one. But dark, I think I just like the fire stuff. Look at him. These are my boys just here. Oh, that's cool, man. Love that thing. I like the way the wings are shaped. I don't know how that would like actually work. But I guess they do. I guess we just don't question it. It's just a video game axe. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I think we should be good to head to the desert. So, warm clothing uh, for when it's warm in the desert and cold in case it gets to night time. Um, coins. All right, let's, let's do this. So, we do actually have a fast travel there because... I was big smart, and we grabbed this uh, at some point. Can't remember when, but we grabbed it. So, I guess we pop these on. Keep us nice and warm. And there is the obelisk over there. Oh, chest. Uh, can't get that chest. Hang on, let me yoink. There we go. Oh, medium power souls. Sick. Oh, hello. I love you. 42. Yeah, we're, we're not quite ready to be fighting stuff in here. That thing looks crazy weird. Um, I've got little dazzies. Oh, they're already 34. Okay. Oh, law. Law, 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 law. We've not had some law in so long. Um, pick up. Castaway's uh, journal 30. All right. So we read 38. Okay. Day 30. Castaway's journal. It's been a month since I arrived on Palpagos Island. I've grown quite used to living here. Lately, I've set pals to work, making me weapons and preparing equipment. A few pals seem to have taken an interest in guns, so I've devised weapons designed for their use. Some are quite adept at handling the weapons. I'm sure they'll be more reliable in the coming battles. So, my guy invented the weapons to give to the pals? Is that what we're saying? And then since then, they've all just loved it so much. What's in the water there? They've loved it so much that now they just want to use weapons all the time. Taco tacos. Okay, it looks like we're not too far off leveling to be here. But like this big bird thing, uh, we can't take that on just yet. But like the little dazzle things. Oh, oh, Robin Quill Terror. Uh, give me this. Okay. I'm probably not going to catch anything today here we'll definitely come back oh okay so we've got like a desert we should t pose and then we've got a desert dinosaur and a desert robin hood okay i'm just gonna try to avoid them okay so there's meant to be a ray hound oh okay that's the electric dog um level 30 freeze Again, like, that's perfect level for us, but I don't want to take it on just yet. Here's another chest. God damn. All right. We're looking for a, a small settlement. Kind of like the small settlement we've seen, but it's in the desert. Uh, okay. I thought I saw some over there. We did not. Another chest. I'm just going to keep getting all these chests. <laughs> this is good. Collect all these power souls. We need them. Uh, more coins. Another hypersphere. Perfect. I'm going to guess that's the town right in front of us. They look like buildings. Okay. Uh, is that another chest? God damn. Some more dazzies. So it feels like uh, instead of like a load of fire types, which I guess are all in the volcano, this is more of an electric place. Because you're electric, dazzy's electric, the ray hounds are electric. That's cool though. So if we need electric types, then they're all found here. There's another chest that I kind of want. Uh, I think we need to key for this one. Don't aggro to me, dudes. Nice. Uh, metal helmet schematic. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. These chests are giving us a bunch of medium souls. 
All right, cool. That's good to know. So we don't have any large souls, but we've got mediums. Um, hello, P-I-D-F grunts. I come in peace. What does P-D-I-F stand for? POW. POW Defense International Federation? I see that sounds pretty good. All right, you come back. How we doing? How are you? Goody two shoes. Uh, hold on there. You want to enter the village? Just make sure you don't go against the boss. The boss is a kind of man to those who obey. He's even got the PRDF protecting us. There's a lot who to thank him for. He keeps peace around here. But the boss is always around the tower with his officers. Wonder what they're doing in a place like that. Okay. Then just a random guy. What is this? A new face? Marcus controls this region. I'm guessing you knew that before you came. Don't think you can have your run of this place just because you're a traveler. Just make sure you mind your P's and Q's. It's not rocket science. We swear allegiance to Marcus and the PIDF uh, text as simple as that. Okay. Who the heck is Marcus? <laughs> uh, wow. I mean, Marcus needs to do this place up a little. It's looking a, a little bit run down, sir. Got like cannons and shit everywhere. Oh, hello. Warm blood desert inhabitant. Uh, you did well making it here. There isn't much, but take a load off and relax. Uh, it's pretty cold at night, so don't forget to prepare. Marcus, a PIDF big shot, keeps his village safe. We can live in peace and quiet thanks to him. That's why it's a good idea to keep your head down. Don't cause a fuss if you want to live a long life. Be smart and do what I do. Let the PIDF protect and survive to this day. Okay, sick. Uh, are you the guy that has my hat? Uh, bye. Uh, no, but you do have some fruits. Oh, high quality pow oil. I do need a bunch of that for something. I can't remember what it was. Uh, sand tornado stone cannon seed mine. Okay. Do you have my hat? Uh, yes, you do. Catris cap. Yep. What it. Buying it. We've also got a soft hat, a silk hat, a tricorn exploration, a grinning taco taco cap. Uh, armors. Oh, you do ammo? Um, have I bought a hundred of that? I just feel like I need ammo all the time. I am making a bunch, but just having... I don't know, that'd be cool. Um, Alright, pals. What we're saying, sir? Oh, there's a Serpent Terror, which is a ground type. Uh, get out of here with your Lavender and a Rayhound. Oh, he has a Swift ability. Oh, he'd be speedy, man. Huh. I could actually... Uh, oh, God. Wrong buttons. I could actually sell all of the Tiefens that I don't need. I don't know if it'd be worth it. Because I really don't need any of these right now. Um... Or do I keep them? Do I sell some of them? How do you do that? Select. Okay. I'm going to just sell a handful of them. Because I, I don't need them all. And they're taking up a bit of space. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just do that much. There we go. 2,344 gold. Oh, that looks nice. We've got a lot of space there now. Alright. Thank you, sir. Okay. This is a nice little place. Oh, law, 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 law. <laughs> this is a nice little place here. Boom. Hey, Marcus's diary. Sick. I like learning about um, these dudes. So we never got... Oh, no, we did get a journal for Zoe, Lily, and Marcus. All right, so this is... I'm going to guess the boss of this area. That's a lot of reading. All right. Uh, diary 1. What a joke. All the idiots do around here is snort up stims. It's a real dump. There's no point in even trying to control it. PIDF doesn't belong in a place like this. The guys I arrested today couldn't even pay the fine. Guess it's to be expected if they spend all their money getting a fix. But they can't even imagine the money the pal ends up lining my pockets. But they can't even imagine the money they pay. Okay, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> um, I make a profit when they buy, and then I make more when I arrest them for possession. And I even get back my product to sell again when I confiscate what they have. It's a grand scheme. They're idiots, and I'm a genius. This is just their punishment for being fools, understand? This island is just a little sandbox to play on. For all I care, they can live their little sad lives without even knowing I'm the one supplying their fix and the one controlling it. If I let them get carried away, they'll just go off demanding rights they, that ain't fit for garbage like them. So, my guy is selling them drugs, 
and then arresting them for possession, taking the drugs, and then selling it on again. All right, well, he sounds like a dick. Uh, can we grab this? Silver key, perfect. Hello, sir. Have you got any of them drugs? Uh, kind desert inhabitant. Now, here's an unfamiliar face. First time in the desert. Some friendly advice. Prefe prepare for some intense heat if you plan on going any deep in. Rumors say there's a legendary pal living somewhere in the desert. There's a never-ending stream of fools who stroll deep into the desert never to be seen again. I'm not fond of the recklessness pal tamers, but how about you? If you're going to take on the desert, don't fall into the same rut. Make sure you're well prepared. Here, take this. I'm sure it'll be of use. Two high-quality cloth. Wow. There's a legendary pal in the desert? Oh, there's also a boss here. Level 45 boss. Ew, interesting. I want to find a legendary. That sounds cool. Okay. Um, Anyone up here? Timid desert inhabitant. This town's, like, kind of big. I feel like it needs more people in here, though. Uh, hmm, just another aimless power trainer by the looks of you. What made you come all the way out here to this blasted desert? I can tell by the look in your eyes you're here for the legendary power, ain't you? I'd stop while you're ahead if you don't want to throw away the precious life of yours. I've lived in this village a long time and I ain't never seen no legendary pow. Even if it's real, it'd be so deep in the desert you'd never reach it. It's a load of baloney. I tell you, if you still set on going, I'm not going to stop you. At least you could do is take this with you. Bread. So there is a legendary pal somewhere. Is there any more dudes around here? Can I jump through here and leave? <laughs> yeah, I can. Ooh, I want to... Oh, bonfire lover. Oh, I missed you when I came in, sir. I want to see where legendary power is. I bet it's probably like up near the obelisk. I wonder if we can get to that. Uh, bonfires are so nice. Nothing beats the crackle and pops of a roaring flame. Don't you agree? Back in the day, you couldn't go about mundane stuff like this. Every day was a struggle between life and death. But everything changed when he came. Thanks to him, we can live and live like proper human beings. These days, you can make a bonfire like this without having to worry about attracting thieves. The feeling of joy at something so simple is worth being thankful for. Hmm, looks like it's about ready. Stay for a bite. Baked mushrooms. Thanks, sir. So, it seems like... Hmm. I don't know. The dude's obviously nice to these. He wants to protect his, like, law enforcement people. <laughs> But he doesn't like the criminals, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. He doesn't say... I don't know. He sounds like a bit of a dick. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Uh, a legendary pal. If I was a legendary pal, I would probably be up there. You know what we'll do? Uh, let's go unlock the fast travel to the obelisk. This is the obelisk we do after the electric one we're doing. So at least we'll, like, have it there and ready, right? And maybe we'll stumble upon the legendary. Oh, I wonder what it is. So, I know there's, like, a uh, a few legendaries. Obviously, there's, like, the jet dragon. I'm going to guess them centaur things that we've seen statues of. And I know if you get them, you can get their passive skill. And you can, like, breed it onto your creatures. And that would be kind of crazy because it gives it a bunch of uh, attack and defense. We can make teeth and really strong. Um, this could also be where the legendary is. All right, I'm just going to... Squeeze on past you guys. Let's see what's going on up here. Uh, ooh. Okay, there's a large electric egg. Could also be a bad guy in there. Like a boss. I'm not going to go onto the map. I'm not going to spoil it. We're going to venture in there together. See what, what it is. Uh, I want this. Is this a huge? Because this could be something real good. Large. Okay. So, no, it's not bad though. Okay, um, secret makeshift shift shaft. I'm going to guess this is going to have a dude in it. And if he's a criminal, we should probably kill him, right? For for the PIDF, the POW International Defense Force. Oh, wait. I wonder if that's what it's called. Or maybe um, uh, the Palagus, Palagus Internal Defense Force. Ooh, maybe it is. Um... Yeah, it's a dude, level 50. Because you're a level 50, do you sell crazy shit? Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. So I'm just going to grab this box. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the training dummy. I thought that was a real one then. Let me just yoink this. Oh, we got an emerald from that. I wonder if I could sell that to you. Hello, sir. Uh, you trade any kind of powers. Yeah, I know you do. What you got for us? Anything cool? Uh, no, you do not. You do have a Nox, though. He's a runner. 
Uh, anything decent in there? Nope. I do know you can reset his stock. If you leave, I think you just get him out of render and come back. He'll have like uh, new pals. So if you're looking to just buy some from him, then you can do that. I kind of wanted to kill him, but I don't want to waste my ammo on it. We can go and kill him another day. We can rescue all the pals. Um, all right, what's up here? You know what? Nope. We're going to just fly to the top. We've got to finish the volcano before we come running around the desert. We're just having a little, a little sneak peek. Is there a way up or do we have to actually fly up? Uh, I think we've probably got to fly up. Yes. Right, you. And this is why we tamed you. Uh, could we have ran up there? It seems really dark here all of a sudden. Okay. Right. So yeah, when you're flying, you don't tend to see as many creatures. That's why we don't fly as much. Apart from other flyers. All right, F for G, and then there's a fast travel just above us. Nice. Uh, grab. Perfect. All right. I mean, we could take a little peek into there, but we're not gonna yet. <laughs> I kind of do, but we're not gonna. All right, fast travel. Nice. Uh, is there gonna be any lore around there? I don't want to have a look. PIDF tower. All right. Do we have? Bit of lore to tell us about you. No, I wish we would. We should have lore in all the towns. In all the, the towers. Just so we know who we're dealing with. Uh, hmm. That looks sort of a place for a legendary to be. Have we done that tower? Where's that? Oh, that's that one. Okay. Um. So, the desert's been real good for these pal souls. We've got a metal helmet schematic. We've got the Catrus hat. Uh, kind of maybe do want to explore around here a bit more. Mm, I don't know if I do it in my spare time. Because what if I run into the legendary when I'm not recording? I would feel really bad because we've been on this whole journey together. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll hold off on the exploration a wee little bit. Right, what we'll do then. Let's get home. And let's put this hat on. We've got to put this hat on, boys. Okay, yeah, we're really far from home now. Got to see what we look like with a Catrus hat. I bet we we'll look amazing. Hopefully, we've got enough stuff to create it. Uh, so, if we go... I don't know, into here. There we go. Uh, five Catrus hair. Good job. I've been killing them and catching them. All right, Catrus, you and me, we're going to create a hat. And we're going to look the same. We're going to look so cool, right? This was my main objective for the whole day, was just to get this hat. <laughs> this is what I've been wanting for so long. Boom, okay. And then if we just come out here, where we've got a bit of light, we're going to pop that on. Oh, boy. Oh, that's actually kind of fire. Yo, that's cool. Catrice, where are you? Come here. Let me throw you out here a second. Look, we're twins. Hey, get your butt back here. Look. We're twins. We have the same hat. That's cool. I actually really like that. That's better than the bunny is. Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. Um, What about if we're in the cold one? And then we've got the normal one. I think we are actually getting close to uh, upgrading our armor, right? Don't we have like a metal one? Cold resistant metal. Actually, we've had metal for a while, I think. Oh, yeah, there it is. Metal arm. I've just never built it. Oh, we should probably get to that at some point. <laughs> uh, we should probably do that for the boss. Refined metal armor as well soon. Also, single shot rifles. Hell yeah. All right. Well, uh, is this egg ready to hatch? It sure is. Let's hatch this. Let's put our electric egg in there. And that should be ready for sometime next episode. Uh, Van Worm. There you go, 20 minutes on that. Sick. All right, so a bit of an exploration episode. Um, what I need to do now is level up our Chile a little bit. Get that to like 30 whatever. And then we're going to try and take on the boss. I, just to see kind of where we're at if we need more creatures. Uh, I've got loads of ammo being made up. Uh, can we make any more spheres up right now? We could, but I'm not going to just yet. I should probably make up some armor, though, right? Um, this 
Coal resistant, metal armor to see some cloth. Okay. We, I can get all of this done and ready for the next episode. Sweet. So, what we'll do, we'll wrap it up and call it a day there then. So, yeah. I'll, I'll do a little bit of grinding. Get Shile leveled up. Get me some armor. Um, hopefully get prepped and ready for the boss. Uh, I'm, I'm a little worried. Because I just don't know what to expect. It's got so much health as well. But we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. If you did enjoy today, make sure you are whacking a like. Make sure you are subscribing and ring the bell. Never notifications. Thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you all in a bit. See you later. Bye.